totally it hasn't been set up touched in fact I think it's still got the old nines on there from uh, when I got it but so there you go there's that and then there's this which is from the relic line not the 91 or 90 whatever too this is from the relic and I pulled it out or just said can I take one of the bodies that have been painted and I want to put in my own pickups and everything and they said go ahead you know if you go down there in the old days it was not a big deal and since I started going down there in 1980 when I was a kid it was like no big deal to just go down like hey man hey what's going on Grover what's going on Mike what's going on Jim Bob like or that guy Richard that used to work there that worked for Gibson that got me the blue see when I played that blue uh, burst uh, that lights up the Ace Freely people still were like well if you say so but why would I lie I told you what I had to get done there was only one way to do it and that guy had to sneak in the end inlays and he said the, the only problem was going to be the face he goes that's going to be a problem i go do what you got to do i just want a gibson friggin you know just like his and they started making gibson blue burst with three you know pickups chrome just like his but no face and no inlays and I see those going on eBay. Those were selling for like thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars. Why? They're not an ace. So I'm like, just please get me one, and I'll finish it. Just put in whatever pickups, or put in no pickups. But he put in basic electronics. You know, just bam, 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 done. Because I said I'm gonna rip them out and put in those those uh, chrome ones. So, right. That he used to work for. Uh, dude, almost everybody, Schechter used to work for Charvel. Everybody you could think of used to work for Charvel. Mighty Might, those guys took off from Charvel. So for a while there, um, they were selling the same crazy bodies like that Modern Air, that ugly one that uh, Eddie played kind of square looking goofy well, he never played it live but he's in pictures with it so there you go uh so a story let me run a story let me hurry up and tell you a story okay i'll tell you here's one so like i said there was this place down there on first street i think it was called visions First or third, whatever. First. It's right across the street from like Buffalo Wild Wings and all this bull crap that's down there now. But all the big bands would play there before they go on tour because the whole thing, you know, Mayor's told you all that. So, driving by one time and I could hear a band. The night before, it was Quiet Riot. Or no, Dubrow. And then. The next night was another band, and the guitar player was really good, and I'm like, who's this? Turns out it was a band named Grand Theft. Does anybody know who that is? I bet you know what he does. I'll ask. Yes? Okay. I'm, uh, I'm going to always be nice to your mom so anyways I stopped and listened and I'm like not bad singer eh? but everybody else the guitar player was amazing no one remembers Grand Theft right they remember Smile they remember Snow Snow was you know the Cavazzo brothers Smile was another Van Halen type ripoff band. 
And they all had black and white marshals. You know, everybody did. Once Randy did it, everybody did it. And, uh, actually, some, somebody started doing that before Randy. Randy wasn't the first to do the black and white marshal thing. Uh, who was it? I can't remember. But, like, Rick Nielsen, Cheap Trick, I remember he had a wall of red marshals. That was weird looking. Can't remember what, was that the Dream Police Tour or something? Anyways, uh, I can't really think of much, but there you go. And there you go. So there you go. The twin axes of, uh, <laughs> twin axes of evil. No. This was supposed to be called the original sin, so this would be the second sin. I don't know. There it is. There we are. Happy Thanksgiving. Hope you had a nice one. I have not even eaten yet. I plowed stuff on a plate and took it home. It's in the refrigerator. I'll eat it later. Because I don't eat till like, you know, 3 in the morning. That's it. All right. I'll, uh, next time, uh, this is probably already running way too long, because I shot another video of me trying to reenact the smashing of the guitar and shooting it, but with the neighbor right there, the shots were so friggin' loud, she screamed, and then she got in her car and left, and it freaked me out, so it wasn't as good, and plus I'm smashing a guitar that's already been smashed and shot, so whatever, man. Metal. Subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And have a good uh, rest of the holiday weekend. And I will talk to you in a couple days. Oh, man, I hope I'm not getting sick. Oh, please, no. All right, later.